Robert's trip down to Darwin was made possible through National Cultural Commission's MOU partnership with Paradise Palette. Paradise Palette is an organization owned by Australian Don Wharton, who promotes PNG arts down south. Don has spent many years in Papua New Guinea. Paradise Palette has had numerous exhibitions in Australia from PNG artists through the National Cultural Commission since 2017. This year, they have ventured into conducting roadshows in various parts of Australia to sell local PNG art. The first roadshow was in Cairns at the Tanks Gallery, where three artists from PNG exhibited their art. The second exhibition was in Darwin, where Robert and fellow artist Morgan Lavapo attended. They were fortunate enough to join the street festival as it coincided with the exhibition, enabling them for the first time to put PNG art as a mural on the walls on one of the buildings. It's an opportunity to showcase the different culture and customs that we had through painting. Uh, so. It was a dream come true for Robert as he got to rub shoulders with other big name international artists as well as learn a few tricks from them. Ray and Ed Nate, um, so you know we had the opportunity to actually you know work with them and see their style and the way they do things so it was quite a good experience and coming from a country that we do not have the luxury of everything and going down there and you know you see at their doorstep like they have everything they ever you know you, you need to actually you know do artwork is quite amazing so you learn from them as well and then you get to learn as well how to improvise when you come back so bringing those experience back with you his group the medang art maniac is more voluntary than money making he started the group in 2018 but it dwindled as covid 19 took over and has remained idle since then having returned now from australia energized he plans on formally registering and getting interested artists to register with him in order to generate income from it. Despite the negativity the Medang province has emitted in the past years, this is one of the good things that the province could be proud of. Robert relates to many of the talented artists of Medang who have over the years promoted the province with the likes of Larry Santana, Tabasilao and the late Marlon Collinard to name a few. He is encouraging youths to engage in arts as there are opportunities outside of the country. Robert's biggest hope is that the National Cultural Commission could come up with different programs to enable more talents to surface in promoting art in Medang. For now, he is a regular art seller along with his group who can be seen daily in front of the Medang Resort Hotel with their paintings and artifacts. Alice Peter, TV1 News, Medang.